like got the whole trailer truck all set up mowers all loaded up trimmers blowers everything loaded up myself i tell these guys we're rolling out of here 8 a.m sharp and they just nowhere to be found Well, one showed up. Where's your other hat? Um, um, I think she's trying to find the air protection, eye protection. Oh, there's one. <laughs> here I am. See? I was here first, okay? Oh, you were here first? I gotta find her ear protection and eye protection. I was what? on time, though. Why, why'd you show up to work without ear protection, eye protection? Because you'll offer it for me. Don't you know PPE is most critical in lawn care and landscaping? Yeah. You only get one set of eyes and ears. All right, guys. So we got Tisha, Savannah. They got to find T Tisha some ear protection, eye protection. So I already got it in the truck, though. You guys are running late. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're at the mobile home park. We're gonna knock all these out real quick. All right, guys, so just finishing up the last one here. So I let Tisha shut the backpack blower off and then I told her there's a spot up here. We're gonna give her a hard time. objects in a yard make sure you blow off around it make sure it's clean um, along the bottom of the fences because with the grass being early morning like this grass is still wet so it's going to stick to pretty much everything mm -hmm. so so just running through some small ones here this morning <laughs> guys uh tq is just giving tisha some details uh basically we call it uh moving with reason in, at Spencer Lawn Care. So whenever you're blowing off, you know, you, you just want to be moving fast, you know, with a brisk walk. Uh, Tisha, she was doing her job right. She's just trying to get every little small piece of blade of grass, you know, just taking her time. And that's perfectly fine. Speed comes in this game uh, the longer you do it. But uh, Savannah was just kind of explaining to her, you know, moving with reason. So it's really just walking fast walking briskly you know and yeah, I mean, still over doing time it. you'll know each property you know exactly okay i gotta hit this and you'll have your you know your smooth motion going around the property and everything 
over time you'll get fast but so just don't do it again teacher. so i was just explaining to her you know just they called me slow go around the perimeter i didn't call you anything you better recognize <laughs> i didn't say slow did i you said yeah you said you're too slow give me it to me <laughs> <laughs> So we got here to this customer's and typically we don't take care of this front yard. She push mows it herself. It has a really small gate. Well, her push mower is not working. So she asked if there was any way for us to take care of it. And I told her, you know, we didn't have a small mower on us. You guys know we don't carry a push mower. So TQ was like, hey, why don't me and Tisha just go ahead and trim it out real quick. And honestly, guys, both of them trimming together, it probably took maybe 10 minutes at the most, I would say. All right, guys, so this is the part of lawn care that nobody really ever talks about. So when you're mowing super wet spring lawns, especially here in the Midwest, things tend to get uh, a little bit messy. I'll say it like that and get clumped up. So what we like to do is keep a tarp with us in the truck. And when I start noticing the deck is shooting out like globs of grass, you'll notice it like, uh, let me see. So like right here. So like if you start seeing these little balls of grass just like that shooting out of your deck, it's time to do a good deck clean out. So that's what I'm getting here. We're on the fourth lawn this morning and I can tell right up in here I'm starting to get deck clumpage. So what happens is it builds up and then it just drops off and your deck will shoot it out onto the lawn and make for a mess. So going to get it cleaned up. It don't have to be perfect. It just needs to be better than what it is. There's no point in wasting a bunch of time here, guys. You're just really getting the bigger clumps. So the really good thing about Toro is they have this baffle in here. All you gotta do is reach up here and you can open it up. See my whole hand can fit in here now? It's really nice. It's uh, meant for like the bagging mode. When you get drier grass, it just really changes the dynamic. And Toro's the only mower that has that, I believe. I believe they actually have it patented. What you up to, babe? What's up? Cleaning out the deck? Nothing else better to do, you know? Yeah, clogging up, right? Fun, fun. Oh! So close. <laughs> oh. Come on, Mr. Cone. Oh, there wasn't even a rebound or nothing. It was close though. It was, it was. Oh, I didn't record on that. Just kidding. <laughs> Which mower you want to use? It don't matter. Okay. <laughs> you thinking about it? <laughs> no, I was the oh. She gets to trim this ditch.
this right. So I figured this would be a great time to teach Tisha how to run the stand on mower. Well, I told her here, hey, go to that telephone pole and come back. Well, she just kept on going, and the customer has a brand new SUV sitting back there, so I had to send TQ after because she literally scared the junk out of me because I didn't want her to run into this brand new vehicle. Long story short, TQ got down there. She actually turned it around herself and did really well, but went ahead and finished out the trimming here and got back to work. Alright guys, so I'm walking out back. I actually had Savannah take Tisha out back here to uh, learn how to run the stand on mower. So I wanted to get the front done. There's a spot way out back here of the property uh, that she can mow and learn on. So right now I'm having her learn to follow a line and mm -hmm. do the three point turn into the next line and come up. Okay. It's taking some time, but she's starting to get a little hang of it. Yeah, it is. It takes time. Watch out for all the groundhog holes. Yeah. So typically we can't mow this until about June, end of June, July, because it just, it's kind of like a bowl here, a lot of water. That's why you see it's all clumped up here. But uh, a good spot for her to kind of learn So the biggest thing is guys when you're turning keeping those back wheels like right there she went a little too quick on her turn Let's see how she does here so you want to keep both wheels moving or you'll rip it yeah she's doing good it'll take her some time All right, so we got this one all knocked out. Looks pretty good. Sean's up at the house blowing off. Um, so between Tisha and Sean, they both tag team that ditch, which turned out really nice. I said, great job. Thank you. You did a good job too. Tisha did too. Thanks. Tisha did as well. guys so we only got stuck once today and i'll tell you what my bones can't take much more of this cold tq yeah i'm freezing i think i need a nice warm cup of hot coffee yeah absolutely warm yep. hot coffee it's raining <laughs> we just mowed the last one it took us about an hour last one completely in the rain and it's uh dropping in temperature it's back to 40 degrees so bipolar ohio i'm over it i'm over it <laughs> Hey guys, make sure you follow us over on TikTok at Spencer Lawn Care LLC for yes. some more behind the scenes and Spencer Lawn Care on Instagram. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys and girls. Keep making money, boys and girls. Bye. <laughs> Take you out. Peace. <laughs>